This year I've been wearing the Oakley Fall Line L goggles with the sage green iridium prism lenses. Good for sun and cloud. This has been a really comfortable goggle for me. I've really enjoyed wearing them. They're large because I have a big head and a big face. I also wear a large helmet, so wearing something that fits the face and the helmet is really key. Oakley makes these goggles in medium and larges. Larges were the ones that fit my face the best. It's really easy to change out these goggles. Today's a snowy day. Having something that's not as dark that allows more visible light to go through can be better. You start here, removing from the sides, and then you're able to remove the lenses. These are the persimmon lenses and they're awesome for flat light. What they do is they enhance contrast so that you're able to see some of the definition in the snow a little bit better than with just your bare eyes. I find it really helpful. I don't know if you can see here, but it does enhance contrast so you can see texture in the snow better. Once you've got the new lenses you want to put on, squeeze the bridge together and then insert it into the nose piece. And then there are these things that you have to align there with the ridge in the goggles. Do that. Both sides. And then there as well, line those up. Insert those into the groove. Up there too. One more spot. Press in. And there you go. Snapped into place. All set, all ready to go. Persimmon lenses, perfect for overcast flat light days. When you shop for goggles, you want to make sure that everything fits. You want to make sure that it fits with the helmet that you have. So when you go look for something, bring your helmet and try the goggles on with your helmet. Make sure that everything fits the way it's supposed to. Make sure that there's no gap there so that things don't fog up. And you want to make sure that there's some decent coverage over there on the side. If I had gotten a medium fall line, then it would have been narrower and smaller and it may not have fit with the curvature of this large helmet. So bring your helmet when you want to try goggles on. Something else that's important, have the seal around your face be continuous. You don't want any gaps between your face and the goggles because if you crash or if you're skiing with lots of powder, snow is going to get inside your goggles and then things are going to melt and then it's going to fog up. No good. That seal all around is also important so that your breath doesn't go inside and fog everything up. It's so frustrating when you're fogged up and you can't see anything. The bridge of my nose is really small. So that means the goggle, the foam, has to be really deep in order to fit closely across there. Otherwise, air, breath, and snow can go inside the goggles and guess what? Cause fogging issues. I don't know what it is that Oakley did. This foam seems to fit around my nose bridge really well. I imagine it will adapt to different nose bridge heights as well so that if you have a bigger bridge, it'll still be okay. That's something you'll want to check out when you try goggles on. I've had a lot of Smith goggles too, but these Oakleys, are my favorite. Try them. They're worth checking out.